Right, so here's our job today. Got to build this little gable. Nice steady day, I'm on my own today. So what we've got to do is put soldiers across, block work, ties are, insulation, and then we've got a three course pattern going all the way up. So we're gonna do the cut up 225 down, make some hockey sticks in a bit. Since I'm laboring for myself, I have got two barrels of compo mixed, one in the mixer. Uh, so yeah, let's get that up here, get it on the spot, do some block work. So the block work is almost done and we're just about to do some more cut-ups with this block work right so what you do is you use the timber as a guide to mark your block right and to do that perfectly and make sure your cuts are all the same leave a nice gap and i like to use a trowel handles width like that there you go trowel width then you mark it on the back just like that and then cut that line. Now, if you can see it, let's see if that works. go fits perfect about an inch down which is nice yeah okay so there is the gable done all the cuts block work is pretty tight up off from that cut there what's going on with that oh fuck off block work is pretty tight up against that timber built in that beam so that roof is supported all the cuts quite nice about 10 mil to an inch down so you'll have no problems with your roof in that point this up front and back then we'll do the soldiers also just before i start laying i like to see what sort of bed i'm gonna have so i'll put a brick on dry you can see that i am um, seven mil below the line so i'll about want a seven mil bed I'm just looking at the lintel, it's actually level across, so I won't just have to put a little smear on the front, I'll actually have a full bed across the old job. I go anywhere, anywhere with you, cause you feel my mind, oh you feel So 
so we've just put our soldier course on here's my line set up so I've got pin there line trapped out there all on one reel running across another pin line so not too bad had to close up 25 mil couple of them do need a little tweak but I'm not going to touch them yet wait for that course on top to be over and then if I do need to tweak them I will if I think it's all right I'll leave it so let's get a course over top let's gable now it's all been pointed lovely So we have just finished our soldier course and two courses over. Sun's hitting it so you can see if there is any imperfections. Couple little tilters here in the middle which I'll probably tap again. But overall, not too bad. And then filled any pinholes underneath. Not too bad at all. So yeah, not too bad. Now, we'll set up some hockey sticks so we know what we're cutting to. 225 down. Yeah, let's have a bit of snap. Let's have some snap. So I've just made my four hockey sticks for this. This screw here measures 225. Okay. These will sit on my rafters like that. This timber wants to be flush with two rafters the timber wants to be square and flat against the brickwork and then we just hook a line on that pin all the way up which we'll put another hockey stick at the top and that will give us our cut up at 225 down yes Work. That is what we're fucking talking about boys. That is spot on. We've got one of the hockey sticks on, or one pair should I say. There's a line hooked onto the screws as you can see there all the way up. Now that measures 225 down from my timber. So I'll have my three courses of pattern. Now I just have to cut to this line. Easy peasy. All right, so this is where we are at now. So I've got my line set to two, five down. Now if you can see that, there we go. Now I need to do all the cuts in between, all the way, little infill there. That's about a full brick. So another little corner up there. But at the moment, can't go any further until I do my cuts. So let's start on these. So, little tip, normally, normally when you do the cut up, you see a lot of brickies, depending on the angle of the roof, either mark it like that, and then hopefully it's right, or they try and hover it like that, get the right angle. A bit slower, but what I like to do, little packer. So here I've got some lead beat down to about 10 mil, 10 mil, and then I literally mark it just like that. Sometimes I use wee poles, but I always drop my wee poles and lose them down the cavity. So, mark it like that. Perfect 10 mil joint there, 10 mil perp, sand. What I like to do is mark every single brick first, and then, as soon as I cut one, put it to the back. As soon as I cut this one, put it there, and then I'm in order. Literally, my last cut will be the first one. So nice and easy, and now I can just put my earmuffs on, mask, and don't have to go back and forth, back and forth. Just cut them all and then lay them all. Yes. Right, so I've just cut all the cuts I need. 
that's the first one which we cut last. Now, hmm. not too bad, not too bad, I need to tidy that up, but I'm holding this camera. Yeah, should be alright. Just throw another mix on, I'm going to get some bricks up in a minute, but this is the stage. This is the stage we're up to now. Just had a little clear up around here. So, all cut up. Need to get some insulation in there, but do that after the pattern's on. So, we literally need to cut these two bricks and then set our pattern up here. Lovely. And so, just before it starts pissing down, I need to set my pattern up. So my pattern is sticking out, what, 20, 20 mil, 25 mil, however much scoreboard sticking out. And now I need to cut this so it sits lovely on my corbel. And I always like to do that by sitting my brick on the timber and then going to the tip, right to the tip of the brick, with my level, perfectly level, and then you cut it. So, mark this up. Just for it to fucking piss us down. Okay. There's the mark. Give it a cut, hopefully it works. Oh my god, it's pissing down. There we go. Smack on. We'll lay that once it stopped raining. Just dobbed this brick on here. And Use my level to touch both timbers, both rafters. I want it to measure 150 at the moment and 145 at the bottom. One four, ooh, it's quite close. I don't know, about 145 at the top as well. So 5 mil needs to go down. So I'll tap it down this way a bit. Baby, double check, and then what I'll do, I'll set a dead man at the top and run it in. 150, smack on. 150, one. 151. What's one mil between mates, eh? Sand, and then from it off the corbel. cool and then range it in as well what I like to do so it's not fucking off and then that ranges in lovely with the gable using my eye not too bad just dodged all the rain but this is where we are right now so dog tooth done on this half anyway this don't look too bad and then now we're just gonna do the stretcher over the top make sure we get it to work fucking bang on like that right let's have a look get this cut done here to make this work so it's going to be a stretcher there so we need a little bullshit cut for there shouldn't have to measure this one either should just be able to go tight with the line and it should just be right 
So let's have a look. So I've got my cut. I should just be able to dob this on and just use my level across the top of my two rafters and it should be flush. So let me show you. Level. So. Oh man, fucking bang on. Look at that. That is snack on. See ya. If I can. So, my level across across both timbers and it's flush touching touching down there touching at the bottom touching at the top that is bang on that's just what we want do that at the top well I just put another dead man at the top if you can see and then once I've done the cut up and everything on that side I take all my dead men off and then finish the last bit free hand with the level easiest way I found Unless someone's got a better way. Probably a profile. But fuck it. Yes! That should work. point these before I put that top brick on otherwise it'll be a fucking nightmare let's do that now where I'm at I've got my last bucket of shit on the spot and I'm about to do the dog tooth course uh, I don't know if you can see it because it's so fucking bright because of the sun but I've trapped that brick with a tie and it's level with this brick here and it's really hard to see because of the sun so I know that if I run my perps out at the right size on these halves it should be bang on equal to this side which is nice, that's what you want. Uh, what time's it? It is 20 past five. 20 past five, fucking on day work. I'm really enjoying this though, so if may as well get it done. Not often I get to do nice shit like this, normally I fucking blast all day. But yeah, so, a bit more pushing, a bit more pushing, then we'll be, be done. Yes, that's it. That's all my muck left. What a position for the camera. I hope my phone don't fall. Right. For some reason, this side is always so much easier to lay. I think it's because I like to lay from this side. But that side, I always find all of it. I don't really know what kind of uh, gap I'm going for. 
on the other side I did about 15 mil. I'm just kind of eyeing it, making sure they're all equal, not twisted. There we go, so dog tooth done. Those two tooths there, one, two, it's hard to see, they are level from point to point. So this pattern is completely perfect in terms of uh, <laughs> equal amounts of bricks on either side. I wouldn't say it's fucking perfect, but hey ho, it's not too bad. There we go, just wrapped up. It's hard to see the tip in the light, but fuck it. <sighs> Need to have a tidy up. Uh, there we go. All the way. Not bad, just need a little brush now. Sunsetting. Ooh, a late one. Overall, not too bad. Quite happy. Normally, I do a three cut, so I normally do three of them. Tried to look a bit different, dropped a load of comp on it, so it got a bit of fucking naff, but little diamond, it just wants a tiny bit of a brush to just tip eight. Now, these bricks are still a bit wet from when it rained. Bit of a tip of eight, and then she'll be fucking off home. What time is it? Almost seven o'clock.